Lars's work is really innovation and tradition. So with his work, he's often uh, working with very high-end and complex technology, and yet it's rooted in ecological, philosophical, psychological tradition, history, art history, all these things come up as a reference for him. Create a work that is meaningful, but also in a way enigmatic, so that people can see themselves in it. The installation is meant to be traversed over time, and so uh, it's less about the objects than it is about an evolving series of situations. And there's, and there's a manipulation of scale not only between the buildings and the backdrop uh, of Miami Beach, but also between the water roof and the ocean beyond. These sculptures, backgrounded by the skyline of Miami, that's when I think they really become very clearly buildings. The rest of the time, they're sort of these illuminating objects, which are literally lighting the lower level of the pavilion. As the viewer enters the lower level of the pavilion uh, and moves through a, a labyrinth, unbeknownst to them, they're actually tracing the path of giant letters that spell the letters S-O-S. -S. And on top of the roof, you can see that there's, there are these geometric white lines beneath the surface of the water, and they also trace the letters S-O-S, -S, which is above, directly above the pathway of the pavilion underneath. So now the actual physical installation is complete, um, but the, the piece itself is not complete until it's animated by the audience because the viewers themselves are one of the versions of luminaries, the slow moving luminaries from the title. 